from Team Children, Chris Duffy! All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, before I start, I always think that good comedy and good presentation involves people being vulnerable and honest. And so I want to tell you that this is true. This is not part of my presentation. One of the only other times I have done a comedic debate show, it was also with uh, one of my good friends on the other side, Joe Firestone. And uh, during the show, I thought that we were friends, but the topic we were debating was, does Chris exist? <laughs> and I was pro, I exist, and she was against me existing, and she won. <laughs> and someone I considered to be my friend had a room full of people ignore me as I walked out of the room. <laughs> so I just want to say, that has happened before, and because of that, my expectations for myself are lower than I expected they should be. <laughs> but I also want you to know that the stakes tonight could not be higher. Let's not pretend that that's not what this is about. There is one side that is on the side of humanity, and then there is another team that is on the side of filthy, stinking animals. <laughs> and let's talk about that. Let's first start by defining our terms. All right, pets. Now, these three people here, they want you to think, when you hear pets, they want you to think that they're debating in favor of kittens and puppies. That's what they want you to think. But, <laughs> let me tell you, they are not just arguing against babies and children and in favor of kittens and puppies. They are arguing in favor of all pets, including the pets that we all know are disgusting and clearly not as good as children. They are arguing in favor of guinea pig lady yeah. who is listening to her guinea pig's heart through a stethoscope. They are arguing in favor a ferret woman who's fisting three parrots. Ferrets. And also has a pirate flag and a captain's hat on top of their cage. They are arguing in favor of man eating out of a Tupperware with a rat on his shoulder. They are arguing in favor of snake guy. And worst of all, they are arguing in favor of lizard man. That Goto is so horrible I can't even. Now, who are we arguing in favor of? We are arguing in favor of humanity. All of us. Ma'am, you seem like a very nice woman. What's your name? Jan. Jan, what's your name? Suzanne. Suzanne, what's your name? Jason. You know what Jan, Suzanne, and Jason all have in common? They're all humans. All humans. They all used to be children and they grew up to be wonderful humans in the audience. That is who we are in favor of. We are in favor of adorable children who become adults. Now, this is real. My, most of my experience with children is that before I was a comedian, before I did comedy full time, I used to be a fifth grade teacher. And today, I got a text message from a friend of mine who is still a kindergarten teacher. She sent me this text message. It says, I think you will appreciate how funny this picture is. I was taking a picture of my class then Brian decided that it was the perfect time to make a move and go in for his first kiss. And this is the photo that she sent. That is what we are arguing in favor of. Shots children kissing each other while other people weirdly look on in the background. Now I showed this to my cousin, an adorable little girl named Sarah, and Sarah said, let me see your phone so I can zoom in and look at it closer. And then she switched to camera mode, and she actually took a selfie! Because she's adorable. And I'm terrifying in the background. Okay. Well, let's get to our first argument. Okay. The first real argument here is if you are arguing in favor of pets over those adorable children, you are really arguing that having a pet means you love touching poop. Okay? That's what that means. Because let's just look at a simple graph that explains how this works. Now, your involvement with poop with a baby, I agree, it starts on. But once their body trained, it drops right off. See, at a certain age, you start pooping yourself and the kids clean it up. That's why it goes negative. If you notice it, the pets just stay the same and then go up a little bit at the end. They are always above an unacceptable level of how much you talk to. Some of you may be saying to yourself, wouldn't this have been
been easier to make in Microsoft Excel. <laughs> well, one of the reasons I'm a comedian is I do not understand how to use Microsoft Excel. <laughs> so I have a signed original artwork, which I'm going to give out to anyone who raises their hand first. All right. Come on up. <laughs> Bribery? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go further. This is what dogs do at group work. <laughs> and you might think, oh, it's just dogs where you deal with their poop. With cats, cats poop aren't that bad. They poop into a litter box. We're well, wrong. Cat poop is full of a parasite that literally gets into people's brains and controls their minds. And in fact, that parasite that you get from your cat's poop, it may kill as many people as die from malaria. A million people a year might be dying because of cat poop. So, there you go, cat owners. I'm sure you're not here because you're probably a pump. <laughs> <laughs> now, argument two. And I, this is the one that I believe in the strongest. Over time, humans have gotten better. We have evolved. We've gotten smarter and faster. We've learned to use tools. At the end, this guy, even though he doesn't have clothes, he has a six pack. <laughs> On the other hand, pets have only lost their dignity over time. The worst mistake that this wolf ever made, the worst mistake that a wolf ever made in its entire life, was getting itself domesticated by a human. Because these used to be wonderful, noble, majestic creatures. And now look at them. <laughs> no more dignity. No more dignity. If this, if this wolf could time travel back and talk to a pug, this pug would say, Kill me now. <laughs> Pets are not our friends. They are not our friends. If you think that pets are our friends, let me tell you something. If you had a friend that never spoke to you, ever, if you had a friend that you kept trapped, locked inside your home, if you had a friend that the main interaction you had with that friend was dealing with that friend's excrement, well, congratulations, they made a movie about your friendship. In conclusion, we should not trust pets, they are not on our side, and here is video evidence they have been caught in the act. <laughs> Don't trust the pets. <laughs>